tonight we watch People Under the Stairs. <laughs> hey, Annette, we're back with night this one. Um, we watched The People Under the Stairs. And I know I sound like a broken record here, but what the fuck are you people making me watch? <sighs> All right, so we'll start. Acting. <laughs> oh, man. If this was an Ace Ventura movie, it'd be dead on. But yeah. it's not, so it's shit. Yeah. Uh, Alice was probably the only good actor in the whole thing for the first half. Uh, half? Um, because toward the end, when all of a sudden she just personality shift for no real reason. Like, even if the guy said, oh, they're not your parents. A, that doesn't sink in that quick. B, that doesn't change your personality. So there's no reason for her to just, poof, a different person. <sighs> but until then, her acting was believable. Everyone else was shit. Just utter, utter shit. The, the lines just felt forced and stupid and poorly written. The, the acting itself was terrible. Mama and Daddy there were just ridiculous. The whole thing was poorly acted. <sighs> Garbage. Yeah. The effects weren't much better, either. Uh, the one bit with the dog puppet there in the wall, that, that looked ridiculous. Uh, the people in the basement, actually, they looked alright. That part, I'll give them that. It looked alright. It was still stupid and pointless, but it looked alright. Gotta love the bondage outfit. Yeah, the... Can't get enough of that yeah, shit! Yeah, that was great. And then we get to the wonderful part. The, uh, story here. I... I don't know. Um, it was a story... See, what's sad is this was a Wes Craven movie, and that usually means good things, and I don't know what the hell happened, but He this, wrote and directed it. This was terrible. There was no point at all for that movie. Nope. Uh, the story is this black kid and his, I don't know how he's related to that person, and this guy Leroy. He's a, he was a friend of the family and he was invited over. Go to rob a rich family. And somehow you're supposed to they hear sympathize story, they with They hear the stories burglars. of gold coins in the ghetto, so they go to check it out. They get trapped in there, and then they figure out that there is gold in there. And There's gold in that there house. That there came is, out more Wisconsin than California, but... Yeah, I just, you know, the whole premise... First of all, I'm not going to sympathize with the bad guys. Like, granted, they're, they're burglars. They are. I mean, yes, the people in the house are fucked up, but you're still robbing them. Like, they have every right to shoot you. Right. You can't really be that mad at them. Fucked up or not, you're trying to rob them. So I don't sympathize. I don't care if they kill you. If someone breaks into my house, I'd kill them. So I get it. But I felt the, bad for the dog. That's about it. Yeah. The people living in the walls is... Uh, the, what? The whole thing is so stupid. That's really... That's it. It's just stupid. It's not interesting, it's not entertaining, it's not a good watch, it's just It's stupid. an hour and 45 minutes, it felt like five hours. That's really all that was? <sighs> hour 43. Hmm. That it, felt like an eternity. You, you just felt like it was going to end, and then they found another way to just keep it going, and holy shit! Yeah, it was endless, oh. as well as pointless. So I but I must say, again. I must say, I was actually enthralled throughout. I was, I was glued to the edge of my seat watching this for some reason. Like it was just must have been one of those just so bad that it's good. I just have to watch it because it's just so crazy out there. I, I was, I was literally on on the edge of my seat the whole time, like wondering what kind of craziness can they throw <laughs> in there next. See, I think you called it earlier. If this was an Ace Ventura movie, if this was like early in Jim Carrey's career. And it pitched itself as a comedy, and it was supposed to be just goofy, off-the-wall antics. It would have been great. But it's a Wes Craven movie, yeah. pitched as a horror film, and it's fucking ridiculous. I just, I don't... No. Definitely not for me. Oh, uh, yeah, it's not scary at all. No, so no, the no. overall rating, I'd give it a f four. Wow, that's higher than I'd go. I, like I said, I was on, you know, I was entertained on the edge of my seat the whole time. I was enthralled, but it was garbage. So I, I can't four. say that I was. I I didn't turn it off, but we kind of used our free pass on um, Seed, so 
we, we can't keep turning them off. So I watched it, but I, I didn't want to. I was not happy that I was watching it. I certainly won't again. Oh, I never want it. To ever half. see this again. No, 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 no. Like, it's not as terrible as, like, Dead Girl or some of the really, really bad ones. Yeah. But no. it, it, it's not It's not one any anyone good. should watch. No. Mm. So, on average, it's three and a quarter. And, uh, I still feel like that's generous, to be honest. <laughs> um. It was a short review, but really there's nothing else to say. It's just shit. Yeah. Don't watch it. Yep. We'll see you tomorrow for another movie that... Knowing our track record is also going to suck ass. Is it Last House on the Left? I think so. Yep. So, yay for another night. Keep tuning in. Share it with your friends and family. Just not this movie. Yeah. Like, the reviews, mm -hmm. yes. This, no. Mm. Yucky. <laughs>